What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here back on Unison League and we do only have 8 gems left. However, we will be doing two more spawns. I'm going to do a guild crystal upgrade uh, from I think 17 to 18 and I'll do one uh, 36 AP run. I just wanted to involve you guys in some of my gameplay here. So let's go ahead and do it. I like to involve you guys in any of the roles I ever do. So let's do that now. Uh, everybody knows from my last video uh, what you get from the spawn. So let's go ahead and get into it now. All right, let's go. Oh, just kidding. I have to sell some stuff here. Uh, last time I rolled, I got some stuff, like some vanity stuff that I might want to use again. Uh, like this one looks like that, um, like Fate Stay Night chick, the main chick. I think her name is like Rin, M not Emiya, that's the guy. Uh, Tosaka or something. So, I don't know, I may, might want to use that later. Um, but, uh, I don't think... I think I have already a hammer, but I don't know if that's the hammer that I already have. No, it looks like that's the one that I got before, so I don't want to delete that. Um, I think that's good right there. And then I don't think I'm going to ever use this helmet, but... Vanity items I always kind of, like, keep an eye on. Okay, so let's uh, real quick do a, an augment so I can... Um, so I can get this out of the way. Oh, uh, while I'm doing this, uh, you guys might want to augment your... Um, your uh, designated guild monster so basically a monster that you're going to use in your guild battles to uh, do your unisons so you know it's always pretty good to max that out first because you know the more you max out those monsters the better your uh, unison will be um, and if you have the same type of monsters whichever one has more pluses on them is going to win out that battle so just a real quick tip while i'm doing that also um I think that's enough slots, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, a little superstition of mine is going into the lobby first, like this, and then going all the way to the end where the uh, spawn is, and then going in like that. Uh, last time I didn't do that, maybe that's why I didn't get what I wanted, but let's go ahead and get it right now. Come on, come on, let's go, guys. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. It's about to start. Alright, guys. Cross your fingers. We need two more. We need two spawns here. We're looking for the monster. 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 Come on, monster. One, two. Ouch. All right, not what I wanted to see, but it's red. No. Nope. And let's go ahead and get one more here. And we'll see what we can do with this. All right. So that doesn't happen um, for us. I usually don't do the three three spawns, and it's actually probably better to do this spawn right here. Um, however, you know, uh, it's because of the, uh, the two the guaranteed two SSR. So if I had another thirty gems, I'll probably do that later. Um, but let's go ahead and get into uh, the guild now. So um, straight into PK Kings here. We're gonna go to the contribute. Um, it looks like, yes, uh, the next level is about 1 million gold, so we'll go ahead and get 1 million gold in there, and then the effects hopefully are good for my, um, character. You're looking for effects that are gonna be good for your character for GVG, or, uh, you know, just basically good for your character throughout the whole day that day, and last until 8, uh, 12 AM, uh, and I already did a buff, so I know this buff is gonna last for my next skill battles. So let's go ahead and do that now. I still have about four, uh, four million three hundred gold after this. So, yes, we just don't want magic attack. I mean, we do, we want magic attack. Defense up. Oh, that's even awesome. That's awesome. So four percent defense boost. That's gonna help me out a lot in the guild battles. A lot of people like targeting me. So that is good. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the quest now. So, um, oh, by the way, if you guys didn't see the um, guild. Uh, HP went up and magic defense and members HP so you can look back at the video rewind it see how much you guys got uh, We got for that so uh, That is good. I'll just tell my guild real quick that That I leveled it up for us uh, Okay All right Let's do this. 
All right, straight into the quest now. So let's go into the quest, questing. Uh, I could, honestly, I did, I've done uh, the Bride's Resolve, um, the maximum AP one, and I actually, I'll show you real quick, that I got a, um, uh, this is one of them right here. Uh, this is, as you can see, the event is Brett, Bash of the Groom Elite right here on top, on the top there, and um, I got two SSR uh, helms. You need three, you need six of those to turn into the UR one, and then on the other uh, Bash of the uh, Groom Elite, I um, got the monster right there in the bottom right. So that's that. Um, you know, it is pretty hard to do it without a, a solid team. And you want to have uh, three, like I said in my other video, you can watch it. Um, just three neutral monsters and then two buffing monsters. And a really good healer. So um, let's go ahead and get into this proficient quest. Let's just see what we can get from it. Real quick, I'm just going to check my abilities. Just make sure that I have the right abilities on. No, I do not have the right abilities on. Good thing I did that. So, always want to get uh, a heal for yourself. On these quests because a lot of times sometimes there'll be like no healer and they'll be just like all dps and they're like oh it's cool we got this and then uh ended up like you guys like die because there's no healer so kind of want to have a heal for yourself on um all of these quests uh that had the potential to kill you so let's do this uh quest now without further ado doing the regular uh 34 proficiency quest all right Let's go ahead and get this done. What we're looking for right now is the angelmen, or not angelmen, sorry, the angels that are coming out here that are going to give us our, uh, our UR armor and UR uh, helmet. Honestly, I don't really, really need it at this point because I have some good armors and helmets. However, uh, you know, I might need it in the future uh, as I don't have too many magic damage down XLs. So, you know, it could be useful in the future to me. However, just right now, Looking at the stats, they're kind of low for me. So, you know, just just looking uh, looking for those URs. If if I can get another monster, I would like that. The SSR monster will be really good for me if I was going to be a Crystal DPS Archer, as I was thinking of doing. You know, like I I just like how the Archer's H. I mean, uh, damage can go so high, like skyrocket. Um, and being a Crystal Damage Archer is pretty appealing to me. As uh, you know, it's it's sound. It looks like fun, like just swapping in and killing the crystal, um, or swapping in right before a, a unison and then killing the crystal. So seems pretty fun. Uh, so let's go ahead and kill this guy off right now. I'm not really paying attention too much to what the guys these guys are doing because I have high defense and the I don't think they could really kill me if they wanted to because I could just heal myself with cure. Um, so for this one, you. I probably want to heal her. Uh, most likely, like 20k defense is good enough for this. Even like of 18k, probably good enough. Mm, I'd say for the 45 AP one, you would definitely want to have at least 25k to go to go in there uh, confidently without having to spend any gems. Another good strategy if you're not healing it, or actually even if you are healing it, I take um, the Heaven's Breath with the Warrior class because there's such a high damage output in there you're gonna want to have like a heaven's breath in there so that you can survive all the aoe um people that are a little bit lower geared for even this might want to take a heaven's breath just because um there's no real like reflect damage coming from this but the last boss does do confusion on a lot of his aoe attacks uh so like the kicker for that is like you either want to bring a uh heaven's breath or you can bring a cure that takes off um, like a heal that takes off of status and also um, something that can anything that can take off status so for like your fourth skill instead of like a cheer you would just take like a heal heaven's breath or a status remove removal so you can remove it from the healer uh, if you're confident in your healer if you're not confident in your healer just take a cure or a heaven's breath um, as far as this character itself goes, uh, he does a good amount of damage and does a high damage uh, single target attack, which is physical. 
uh, and it leaves you with a poison on a percent chance, I believe. It's a pretty high percent chance, though. That's the one that gives poison, I believe. So, if he breaks you and then hits you again, and your healer doesn't heal you, you're pretty much gonna die on that. So, uh, like, I already ha I have like 28 or 25 or 28k defense in this spec, and it still kill you. So, and this is the 36 one. So, just think about that in the uh, 45 one. That's why I carry he Heaven's Breath. Okay, uh, we are getting down to the last, um, the last area here, and what I'll do is actually I'm going to cure myself of the unison break if this guy doesn't do it before the next one, but I think it might probably going to run out anyways. So what I'll do is just let my cost uh, roll in and let them kind of get damage on him. As I know my, for myself, I have a high damage. Uh, I don't know about these guys, I've been really paying attention to their damage uh, procs, but I know myself I have high damage, so I'm going to kind of save my cost for the last boss. Um, another thing to note about this is also there could be like a angel spawn that comes in that says rare monsters. Not only that, but there actually could be an angel spawn with the last boss. So like there'll be like a little angel on the left side, or his right side, um, and uh, you can get a SSR from that that can go to your art. So, um, and again, the the SSRs you have to have six of the actual SSR items to reforge them. It's not like you just reforge them with uh, mass. There it is. So the angel's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the angel now, just because it's more important to take him out so that there's not another healer or a, another damage uh, dealer that's gonna kill us. So let's take him out. He ended up not dropping anything, so that's not good. Uh, somebody revived. It's usually not good to revive on this type of uh, this type of a low AP run. However, I'm not sure. Ooh, these guys are all gonna die. Oh my god! All right, yeah, that was a good unison. Definitely a good unison. So smart by that guy to use his unison. I didn't have my unison, or else I would have. Um, but I think we're gonna be okay killing this guy. I will start healing a little bit more. Um, but we'll see what happens. So, uh, hopefully that didn't just cut off my my stream. But uh, let me let me see what happens here. I will give a meteor strike, throw throw down all my damage, and then go back to healing. Uh, I think I'll I'll make that heal to one. No, I don't think I'll make that heal. So I'm gonna throw my um, high damage out there, and the Valkyrie is gonna be useful. So I, d I wasn't going to make the heal, I don't think, in time for him to do his damage, so um, I just threw my unison up there, and what this does is bides time and lets the uh, dots, or I mean the status tick off, like as you can see right there, uh, status ticked off both on our characters, also the Valkyrie helps us out with some uh, good buffs here. So, going to now, I think I'm going to heal my, nope, I'm going to heal this guy here because he healed that side. So, just going to continue on. I need uh, to heal myself now. Alright, all right, there, good. Uh, he's going to do a fire unison. Not bad. And this takes off the middle person's buff. So we don't have to spend a heal on that. Uh, I think we should actually do a haste. However, this might be working if we're just going to keep on doing damage unisons and then in between use our damage. Hopefully my meteor procs this time. My meteor hasn't been proccing any of the skills. There it is. Magic testament. Cool. Um, and I need to heal myself again. Oh god. I just used... Um, okay. So I'm going to use a Nyx on him. Just because I want to do a good amount of damage to him with this next meteor. Uh, I think the healer is going to wait and heal in a second. Hopefully he doesn't die here. I'm just going to heal him because I don't think he sees himself. Um, he's really low right now. Meteor XL proc. There you go. So he did uh, save it for a heal later. Oh, and he, okay, that's not bad actually. That's giving us double heals and it's giving us buffs. Uh, but it did not give us a unison actually, so the time of that actually 
I'm not sure if it's gonna be sufficient. I'm gonna wait uh, with my H with my uh, cost until he's kind of low. Then I'm gonna burst him down after his damage. Okay. There he goes. So I'll burst him down now. There it is, Heart of the Meteor. Bolt on crushing. And then my next, his next damage attack will put me on uh, enough for unison. And I'll be able to use... Okay, cool. So this is probably actually going to kill him, so... This is good. If it doesn't kill him, my Meteor is going to be up at this time, and then he'll die that way. So, um, this is kind of just a lesson in, like, if you have low HP, if your characters aren't, like, doing well, and your, um, their status is low, then, uh, you can use your unison, time it out, and it'll save you at points. So, you know, that's just one thing that you can do. Um, hopefully this gives me a, another monster note, gave me the gold, so let's put up the gold, and then tell everybody what I got. I hope that helped you guys out, um, as, you know, it's just a little bit of strategy on PvE in the event for most people like, who are going to be doing this proficient. Um, I will be doing a run on the um, higher level event, the Elite, however, like last time I did it, I was just chilling, you know, on the bed and I was just kicking in and I didn't really feel like coming over and casting, so I'll do that next time. Um, as always, if you guys can subscribe definitely do that give me a like if you guys liked it if it helps you out if it didn't you can give me a dislike and then also in the comments below tell me what you want on the next video uh, and I definitely will be getting to that uh, class video it just takes a lot of time to do those class videos and some research so but I will be doing it 100% guaranteed for sure and um, that is that uh, as always thank you guys for watching and take it easy peace